Namo Sakya Muni Buddha. Dear Venerable Sangha Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to join us in this weekly Buddhist newsreel on Fatsu Online channel. Here after five major headlines of Buddhist activities of the week. Lanterns and candle lighting for Amitabha, Buddha at Fuglam Pagoda, held by Dharma Enactment Section of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. Đà Nẵng, delegation from Indian MPC surveys the site for tree planting to celebrate 50 years of Vietnam-India diplomatic relations. Buddha Year 2565 Summer Ordination held by Nghệ Tinh Provincial Sangha. Hanoi Distinctive Aesthetic Practice Day held by Bang Pagoda. Ho Chi Minh City, the 25th day commemoration of Master Nun Thich Nữ Bạch Liên and the first year after death rite for the Master Nun Thich Nữ Thiang Liên. The following are news in details. Paying respect to anniversary of Buddha and Bitapa Sol in a series of 21-day events organized by Vietnam Buddhist Sangha section of Dharma Enactment from November 17 to anniversary of Sakamuni Buddha Enlightenment on December 8. The liturgical ceremony of Amitabha Buddha's candle lighting was solemnly held on December 21, 2021 at Phuklam Particle Temple, Dianjiang Province. In a dignified atmosphere, the Venerable Honorifics and Buddhists face toward the manhole to offer incense and worship. Venerable Thut Phuk Nghiêm, Abbot of Phuklam Patriarchal Temple, held a candle lighting ceremony from Preacher's altar to transmit shimmering light to the entire public. The Venerable Honorifics in turn received the light of wisdom, the light of Baudis compassion which the Buddha had transmitted to each generation. We solemnly recite the blessing of the Buddha Sakyamuni for teaching sentient beings about the Buddha and the Western land of ultimate bliss. Candles transmit light to candles, hearts transmit beats to hearts. Images of Buddha Amitabha and the Holy Assembly are shimmering in magical color lights. The symbol of immeasurable longevity, representing immeasurable lighting and conveying the truth of immeasurable merit, illuminates the flow of life, shining lights into everyone's mind so that we could break the veil of ignorance. The candles light up each heart and raise lights up in many peaceful hearts. Please bless all mankind to overcome the COVID-19 pandemic and let us always live peacefully in the Dharma of the Tathagata. In every step of the peaceful work, we turn our attention to the unfortunate lives during the pandemic. We hear our hearts rise in many emotions. Today, we are able to safely return to this place to hold the ceremony of Amitabha Buddha So, We solemnly pray that the almighty Amitabha Buddha always protects sentient beings safely living through the pandemic. Respectfully bowing the Buddha Amitabha Tathagata, please pass the mercy in all species so that people will no longer be insecure and panic especially when facing the raging epidemic. Please give us enough faith to work firmly to be the refuge for many unfortunate lives. Please protect us and all sentient beings to be at peace in the midst of an uncertain world, to be stable even though this world is unstable. On the occasion of the Soul Day of Amitabha, we pray that our loved ones have peace in mind, happiness and peace at home, mindful recite the Buddha's name, do good deeds, and pray for the world in general and dear Vietnamese in particular to keep the pandemic under control. People would live in peace, no longer suffering in pain in misery. Together, let's turn our minds to the Buddha's land to always live happily in the immeasurable radiance of the Buddha Amitabha and the western land of bliss. After the procession of lanterns, 
the whole congregation sat down in the shimmering light of lanterns. Venerable Thich Phuc Nghiêm talked about the meaning of the night of the sacred lanterns on the celebration of the soul of Amitabha Buddha. Best wishes to the entire public and families. Pray for the yin yang soul and life and share merit to all sentient beings in the Dharma realm. Then, the entire congregation chanted the Buddha's name with all respect and purity and performed the ritual of raising the lanterns across the forehead, making the vows, bowing to the Buddha Amitabha. We and I now make a vow, often reciting your name today and forever, for a clear mind and peace of mind and that the pandemic could pass away. Finally, the Venerable Honorifics and Congregation recited the Heart of Perfect Wisdom Sutra to close the night by lighting lanterns and candles on the soul of Amitabha Buddha. On the afternoon of December 15, 2021, the delegation of MPC of India led by Mr. Vadian Kumar and Vietnamese representatives of Department and Foreign Affairs of Da Nang City bid a working visit to Demba Pagoda, the headquarters of the Veda Buddhism and its central region. Welcoming the delegation, there was Venerable Thich Phap Hu, head of International Buddhist Department of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Hai Chau District. Abbot of Damba Pagoda and Monsoon Residentiary Buddhist. At the Great Bell Shrine of Damba Pagoda, the monks recited the Pali Sutras to bless and pray for peace to the members of the delegation. On behalf of the delegation, Miravara Dankuma happily performed the ceremony of lighting candles, incense, and honoring the three jewels, Buddham Saranam Gachami, Dhamman Saranam Gachami, and Samgam Saranam Gachami. The monks of the Tambao Pagoda and the Indian delegation chanted the Pali Sutra together to pray for the peace and prosperity of the two countries of Vietnam and India and to soon overcome the COVID-19 pandemic. After reciting the Pali Buddha scriptures, the embassy delegations and leaders of the Department of Foreign Affairs and the monks of the Tambao Pagoda chose the location for the scheduled tree planting. This is an event within the week of the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Vietnam and India, which will be held in the near future in mid-February of 2022 in Da Nang City. On behalf of the Indian Embassy delegation, Mirvara Dan Kumar respectfully expressed his gratitude to the monks of Tambao Pagoda for their warm welcome, showing the friendship between the two countries, Vietnam and India in general, and between the two Buddhist cultures of the two countries in particular. Da Nang Buddhism always accompanies major events with the country to celebrate 50 years of diplomatic relations between Vietnam and India. On December 12, 2021, the fifth meeting great ordination of Buddhists in Nghệ An in was held solemnly and seriously at Buddhist Culture Center, Mekha District, Hating Province. The novice monk entered the day ordination after two days penance, sacrament, present sighting, and poster practice. At exactly 8 a.m., all the Dharma master and monks gather on the Patriarchal Temple to celebrate the Precept Examiner Council to pray for Bhikkhu, Samanara, and novice ascetic practitioners. In a dignified and pure atmosphere, the Venerable's incense in kowtowing the Buddha, worship the patriarchs, and declare the ten master examiners in their positions. The devotee monks greeted the Venerable Honorifics of the Three Masters Council, Elder Most Venerable Tathandam, VBS Deputy Dharma Master, the top examiner. Most Venerable Thit Bao Nghiêm, Vice Chairman of the Administrative Council and Head of the Dharma Enactment Section, Head of the VBS Administrative Board of Hatan Province. In the Samanara Superintendent position, Most Venerable Thit Thanh Nhu, Standing Vice Chairman of the VBS Administrative Council in the position of Samanara Chief Examiner. And the Venerable Honorifics include Most Venerable Thit Quang Hà, Venerable Thit Tho Lạc, Venerable Thích Thanh Phong, 
Venerable thích đức thiện, Venerable thích chiếu tuệ, Venerable thích minh hương, and Venerable thích chánh thành. After addressing the Samana recipe in Tandon, the 14 novice Samaras and BQ were instructed to follow the ordination rules, obey and honor the Sangha, and to be ordained by the leading most venerable in the traditional rituals. In the afternoon of the same day, two precept examining councils passed the precepts and ordination to 20 Samanara novices. The Sima ordination ritual was solemnly dignified, the novice monks were pure, and the Samanara had a sincere desire to receive the ordination with Dharma precepts to officially enter the ranks of the Sakyamuni Tathagata, reflected on the faces of each disciple, the joy and happiness. Profound respect and gratitude to the venerables of the Council of Ten Master Examiners. Most venerable Tathanyu encouraged the Dharma Masters to pay attention to those who had just been ordained, especially those who had just received the precepts, to always try their best to study diligently with ascetic practice, diligently study the Buddha's precepts, know how to cultivate the precepts for concentration and wisdom, take precepts as the basis, keep body and mind pure, and always look towards the three jewels to be worthy of being a monastic preacher. Towards the anniversary of Buddha enlightenment and instructed by Elder Most Venerable Thich Thi Quang, Venerable Master of Phapa Monastery Asham at the end of the year. The Phapa Monastery Asham studied the home-based ascetic practice of Phu Hien from the day Buddha and Bitapa, November 17, worship to the celebration of Sakanin Buddha, ordination December 8 in lunar calendar. During that time, on the 19th of December 2021, at Bang Pagoda, Hanoi City, the most venerable Abbot Thich Bang Yim and the residential monks organized a virtual online ascetic practice day for peace praying. At the ascetic practice, the public recited the Amitabha Sutra in chorus according to the unified recitation course of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Central Board of Culture. At the same time, monks and laity listened recited the name Namo Amitabha Buddha and bowed down to the 48 great bestows of Buddha Amitabha. Facing the complication of the COVID-19 pandemic across the country, the ceremony was held online, live broadcast on software for Norin Fapa Ashram Buddhists to attend. At Bang Pagoda, the ceremony was witnessed by the venerable monks and nuns from the Norin Division of Literal Training and the presence of representatives of the Fapa Monastery Ashram. All physical attendees strictly followed the 5K rule mandated by the Ministry of Health and they took a quick test before entering the ceremony. On the morning of December 12, 2021, at Phuong Particle Temple in Ho Chi Minh City, the venerable monks of Vietnamese medicant order, Demonation, and the Dharma followers solemnly celebrated the 25th memorial ceremony of Master Nun Thich Nữ Bạch Linh, the second chief of Vietnamese medicant order, and the one year after death rite of Master Nun Thich Nữ Thiang Linh, the fourth chief of the Vietnamese medicant order. In witness, it was honored to have Venerable Thich Minh Thanh, member of the Administrative Council, Vice Rector of the Vietnam Institute of Buddhist Studies. Venerable Thich Yak Hoang, member of the Administrative Council, Vice Secretary of the Vietnamese Mendicant Order, Master Nhân Thích Nữ Tân Liên, Chief of the Vietnamese Mendicant Order, and monks and nuns of the Mendicant Order denomination and Buddhist among the attendees. At the ceremony, Master Nhân Thích Nữ Vinh Liên and other monks and nuns of the sect offer their memorials and reveal respectively the virtue and merit of the late two nuns of the Vietnamese Mendican Order denomination. In front of the portrait of the two chief nuns of the denomination, the venerables witness the venerable monks, nuns, and Dharma followers respectfully offering incense and offerings to the second chief nun. Expression gratitude for the merits, the death of the forefathers who dedicate their lives to the Dharma and donation. 
At the same time, the congregation performed the ritual of offering incense, flowers, to pray for the sacred souls of the second chief to be promoted in the highest rank in eternity. Due to the complication of the COVID-19 pandemic, to ensure safety, the ceremony organizers limited the number of attendees, and the ceremony was held in an online form at various access portal hubs. Venerable monks, ladies and Buddhists, ladies and gentlemen, the last news has signed off this weekly newsreel. Thank you for your attention and following. Goodbye and see you in the next program on PSO TV channel. Namo Sakya Muni Buddha.